Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here and in today's video we are going to be looking at Arnold's off-season training routine. Although many of us Golden Era fans associate Arnold's training with the high volume, high frequent training programs as seen in the legendary film Pumping Iron, the truth is that such programs were only performed two to three months prior to competition and were not practiced or followed year round. Such programs were mainly used in combination with PEDs to strip fat and increase muscular hypertrophy and acquire muscular detail and cuts as they zeroed in on a contest. The truth is, Arnold and the Weeder boys would train much differently during the off-season. As Arnold stated in an interview, bodybuilding training is an all-year-round business. You never stop. After a big contest, you can shift into a lower gear, but you still train. You train heavy too, but we'll get into that. I'd like to call it off-season training, end quote. This kind of training, as Arnold put it, is ideal for those not competing, which is around 99% of bodybuilders who do it as a recreation or hobby and work or have families and other responsibilities and can only train for around an hour a day and is what most professional bodybuilders would actually stick to for most of the year as well. Regarding layoffs after competition, Arnold was not shy from having breaks and recommended them. To quote Arnold again, quote, Formerly, when I used to train for the Mr. Olympia or Mr. Universe contests, I tended to burn out just before the competition. I've changed all that, and today I arrive at contest time raring to go. Now after competition, I slack off. For example, after the Mr. Olympia contest last year, I made my usual tour of Europe. I spent about three weeks giving posing exhibitions. I gave them without any training whatsoever. No workouts. I watched my diet a little. I lost considerable body weight but continued to look good. The hard contest training has a long-lasting effect. The muscular condition lasts for months afterward. End quote. In taking layoffs, Arnold would rest his joints, giving the elbows, knees and back a chance to rest and recover. After Arnold would take a layoff, he would begin working out every day, training for up to an hour, training each body part twice a week, performing a maximum of 12 sets per body part. As explained to me by his close friend John Ballack, his training would be intensified through the year in phases with increased intensity. After the Olympia, between the festive season of October and December, Arnold would basically not train at all, and doing just very, very little. From January, he would step things up, moving into what he would call his spring training, performing 10 to 12 sets for each body part, as mentioned earlier. Between May and July, he would step things up even further and steadily increase his volume, performing 15 to 18 sets per body part, but still training each body part only twice a week. But come August, he would go into high gear, performing his famous high volume, high frequency split program, training each body part for 20 sets for each workout, training each body part three times a week. Regarding his diet, Arnold would eat a little less during off-season and place less attention to what he ate. This, in combination with the absence of steroids, would make him lose significant muscle and some of his conditioning. Looking at Arnold's off-season training routine, Arnold would typically choose two exercises per body part, training each for five sets for a total of 10 to 12 sets per body part, training each body part twice a week. His favorite off-season workout was as follows. For chest, he would perform the bench press and dumbbell flies. For the deltoids, he would use the press behind the neck and lateral raises. For training his back, chins and barbell rows. For legs, leg extensions, squats and leg curls. For calves, the donkey calf raise, where he would perform five sets every single day. For abdominals, he would train Roman chair sit-ups for 500 reps and leg raises for 200 reps. And for arms, he would perform dumbbell curls, one-arm concentration curls, triceps pushdowns, and lying triceps extensions. As mentioned, five sets would be performed for each of the exercises for about 10 reps. Although most body parts were trained for 10 sets or 10 to 12 sets, thighs he would train for 15 sets with three exercises and calves would be worked daily with five sets each. Abdominals would be trained in the following way. Roman chair sit-ups would be performed non-stop and leg raises broken up into two sets of 100 reps. 
As a final note, Arnold recommended this kind of program could be followed year round by the intermediate bodybuilder, and I would have to agree with him here. Steady gains can be made on such a basic program. In fact, both John Ballack and Arnold wrote several booklets which were handed out during seminars which they held in the 1970s that guided the novice through Arnold's blueprint to mass. One could consider Arnold's off-season training the intermediate phase as explained in these booklets as it allowed the bodybuilder to focus on gaining both muscle and strength after a layoff and these booklets are now available on my website. So I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video on Arnold's off-season training routine, which was vastly different from his high volume, high frequency pre-contest routine, which he only used eight to 12 weeks prior to competition. If you have enjoyed the video, please give the video a like and share and subscribe if you haven't done so. And please leave me your comments and click the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is the golden era book where I'm saying bye for now. After Arnold initially retired from competition in 1975, he decided to share the secrets to his bodybuilding success in written booklets which were shared in the seminars that he and John Ballack held. Arnold's original seminar booklets are now available at www.goldenerabookroom.com which explain the three phases of golden era style bodybuilding and how to structure your nutrition and training programs for each level as well as how to progressively reach each goal to ensure your bodybuilding goals are achieved. Included in this series was The Complete Cycle which contains Arnold's blueprint to mass and size. This 21 page booklet explains the importance of some matotyping, the three stages of bodybuilding, and the six-phase plan which Arnold used as his blueprint to mass. The four booklets in this series explains his six-phase training system which took you from novice to advanced bodybuilding, nutrition for adding muscular size, pre-contest nutrition for gaining definition, muscular separation and cuts, as well as Arnold's steroid cycle, available only at www.goldenerabookroom.com. Now, if you're interested in learning Arnold's original bodybuilding training and nutrition principles, please visit my website for a full collection of booklets, including his arms and chest training programs, available at www.goldenerabookroom.com. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooken.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout.